everything is scary. It's just everything is scary. You overthink everything. And that's definitely where I was. Okay, off the tripod into the vlog. It's Sunday. I just finished up doing a clip for my bump transformation video. I'm at 15 weeks. I got my little outfit on. I feel like every single update I do for this video every two weeks, I say the same thing. I'm like, I can't tell if it's changing, but it's there. I'm excited. You know, like, I don't know what this video is gonna look like at the end, but I'm making it. I'm working on it, but I wanted to acknowledge my behind the scenes co-star for this bump transformation video because I decided to pick an all black leggings type outfit that is like a magnet for Lunafur. And this thing, I've talked to you guys about this before, but it's been a long time and this thing is wonderful. It's the best tool I've ever found for removing lint, pet hair, specifically little Luna eyelashes that fall off her body if you just look at her. It's the Chom Chom, I got it from Amazon. It is going strong and all you have to do is just like run it over your leg or the couch or wherever you wanna clean. And then when you wanna clean it out, pop that button and it reveals all of the lint that it catches, all of the Lunifer. I don't know if you could see in there, but I probably should clean it out. It is definitely like a part of my daily routine at this point. Anyway, right now I need to go find some food. I'm gonna have some leftovers for lunch because I'm starving. All right, it's just a feast of leftovers today. We've got one lonely meatloaf and a lot of chicken taco stuff. Okay, our nutritious and delicious lunch is done. And for dessert, I decided we can taste test these red velvet pop tarts that Grant decided to treat me with. I've never had these before, but I am a big fan of pop tarts. I just heated them up. Here you go, Grant. Okay. All right. Cheers. Too much crust on this one. Get out of here. Hmm. Five out of ten. Yeah. My favorite flavor is the, I don't know, is it birthday cake? It has sprinkles on it and it's chocolate. And then there's, I think, white filling. I don't think I've ever had that one. <clears throat> My favorite's the uh, cinnamon sugar. <laughs> Everyone likes that one. The thing I don't it's do the best one. are the fruit ones. The like cherry, strawberry, whatever. Anyway, I had a pop tart to eat. All right, so I just made a quick change out of my bump transformation outfit. I got one of my super comfy skirts on. It kind of feels like it goes over the bump, so it makes it super comfy and it's really, really, really stretchy. There are so many colors and patterns and I got these maybe like a year ago. I have two of them and there's even more colors now, so I'm very tempted to get more. I love this. It's like the comfiest thing I can wear without it being biker shorts or leggings. I don't feel like I have a lot of options now. And dresses. I'm all about dresses. Anyway, right now I need to get focused and I need to get busy because my house is a disaster. I need to get it clean. It's driving me nuts. Let me just show you what's going on. <laughs> there has just been a lot going on lately that has resulted in a ton of clutter landing in this room. We've got a bunch of packages coming in. Some of it is gifts. Some of it is like, this is a garage door opener. That's going to be a lot quieter than the one that we have now. The one we have now is like, it sounds like our house is falling apart every time the garage door opens. And then we've got Luna stuff, stuff that lived in that black piece of furniture that's in the soon to be nursery. We've got random grant stuff, stuff from cleaning out the cars before you got rid of them, and then other stuff that was in that black thing. <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. I have found a home for a lot of this stuff, but as you can see, there's still a lot to declutter and organize. And also, this whole area over here is just like a magnet for clutter, basically. And I got those two other packages from our place. I need to open those. And obviously, I've been working hard on the future nursery and it's almost completely cleared out. This thing is completely empty. I do still intend to get rid of it, of course. It's definitely not what I'm going for for the nursery. I don't know if anyone else in the world is gonna want this thing but it has got to go. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sell it or I'll just have to like put it on, I don't know, offer up or something. I've never used that site. Do you have experience with that? I would like to know, is that worthwhile? I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but right now what I have to do is clean up my house because it's just, it's too much. Even for me, it's too much.
All right, so a lot was going on in this counter over here, and one of the issues is that I bought Grant two new lunch boxes, and they are the same brand, the same color, and they're just totally different styles. I heard about this one from Kiki Meets World. You guys know I love her vlogs. And then I found this one and Grant just wanted to check them both out and he needs a new lunchbox so badly because the one that he's using currently is a million years old. Yeah, yeah. It's seen some things. And so it's now- It's not bad, but this I needed something a little bit larger, I think. These have been sitting here for at least a week, maybe two weeks. Yeah and grant has chosen not to make a decision but now is the time decide 2005. <laughs> i'm going with the big unit i mean they're both pretty big it all depends on if you need a new water bottle i guess but this one's like a funky shape it's kind of a yeah a triangle well because i'm trying to do more like i think you could fit a things. lot of stuff in there Ooh, it's got like this big net pouch yeah perfect fit okay so you can open the nut side from here and you can store other stuff on top of here without it squishing this stuff. So that's kind of amazing. Yeah. Cool. If your man's needs a new lunchbox. Card. Tough guy. Tough guy. Ooh, tough lunch. Tough crowd. Hopefully won't forget it. All right, what are you working on over here, Luna? Is this your stuff? Ever since I moved all of Luna's stuff out of the future nursery, this has like tons and tons of toys in it. I was on the BarkBox subscription train for years and we definitely didn't need that many toys in our life. So I have a little stash of them, not little, it's actually huge. And so she's got this whole huge bin with her name on it. Is she spoiled rotten or is she spoiled rotten? Full of brand new toys, actually a couple of them she's played with before. And I try to save them for her because obviously this is too many toys to just have laying around. And I try to wait until she's destroyed one to switch them out, but really she doesn't destroy toys very, very quickly. So she's got tons of toys just waiting and she knows this is here and that's why the blanket was on it because she would sneak into that room because the doors were usually closed and she would just like go fish out new toys. It was like her favorite thing in the world. It makes me feel so guilty like I'm denying her, but she has a lot of toys. And this whole time that this stuff has been sitting out here in the dining room, she just comes and sits on top of the blanket. Like, are you moving me out? Am I kicked out? What's going on? Do you need to get a new toy really bad? Anyway, obviously I've got a lot of Luna stuff. I've put away a lot of Luna stuff, but I have more to put away and I need to declutter the current collection because I mean, does your dog have this much stuff? What is it gonna be when I have an actual child? What's wrong with me? You wanna put your pizza costume on? What about your burger costume? I can't get rid of this. I made this for her. If you saw that video, that DIY video, let me know in the comments. Honestly, it's one of my proudest Halloween moments I've ever had on YouTube. Oh my goodness, Looney. Luna Bean. Look at her grin. Have you ever seen anything more perfect? Uh -uh. I'm dying. Are you dying? I think Luna's also dying. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Do you love it or hate it? Hated it. Okay, we made a lot of progress in this room. It looks so much better. I feel so much better about it. We've still got the gifts and some donation stuff over here just because I really don't have any place to put it. I might actually stash it in my car. Over here, I opened up the R Place stuff. Maybe I'll show you it a little bit better because we need to do something else in a timely fashion right now. But in general, everything is looking a lot, a lot, a lot better. And obviously this does not belong here, but it needed cleaning and it's about to go out. And even over here, we've still got a little bit of garbage, but oh, I feel like I can finally breathe. All right, back at the dining room table. Oh. Okay, all right, so I don't think we've sat at the dining room table with you guys and talked about something big in a really long time, but we used to do this like nearly weekly when we had big updates with IVF and embryos and everything. Feels kind of good to not have sat here and talked about something big in a long time, but here we are. 
Part of me has been nervous to talk about it because I know it's something that a lot of people are gonna go one way or the other with. And I know I've talked about this before, I've definitely been feeling a little more sensitive during pregnancy and I don't know, I don't know why I'm nervous. But I do wanna share this because I feel like it's important. I've gotten a lot of questions about it and it's about the vaccine. Uh, a lot of people pregnant, not pregnant, wondering, are you gonna get the vaccine during pregnancy? Because doctors are basically like, it's up to you. Like, yeah. <laughs> or many doctors are like that. But when it came down to it, when I picked my OB and talked to her about it, she was like, hey, if you have yourself on the schedule for the vaccine next week, I'm down for it. I think it's a great idea. I think you should get it. No matter what you're doing, no matter who you are, if you're pregnant, you are high risk if you get COVID. It can have detrimental effects on your pregnancy, on your baby. We don't want any of that. And actually another doctor in the practice is pregnant or was pregnant. I'm not sure if she's had her baby yet, but she got the vaccine. And that was definitely something that was super encouraging for me. And it really has been a back and forth thing for me. I mean, I feel like even before I got pregnant, because Grant was like, I want to be first in line to get this vaccine, literally. Because so I was like, I don't want to be first in line. Not because I'm like anti-vax on any level. I am pro-vaccine. But Grant was very like, put me first in line. And he was not first in line, but he Close. was very, very early. And he's had both of his doses for a long, long time. We talked about that here on the vlog. Um, but we were always kind of, it was always kind of just a discussion with, am I going to get it? When am I going to get it? You know? just kind of back and forth. I was more hesitant just because we have been through so much with IVF and so many people that you talk to is kind of like, yes, no, or some kind of like non-answer, which you get a lot in pregnancy because right. they don't test pregnant women for like anything, basically. Like you, you don't do experiments on pregnant women. It's like unethical, like it's just not a good idea. So it's very hard to say yay or nay on a lot of things. And it's the same with the COVID vaccine. But ultimately we decided that I should get it. Grant was very happy once I finally was like, yes, let's go for it. Yeah. And it was pretty hard, not hard, but we did have to go through jumping through a lot of hoops to find a place that was offering the vaccine so that I could actually get it. Um, but I got it last Monday. So it's been almost a week. By the time you're watching it, it's been over a week. I ended up getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Whenever I came up to the place, the vaccine site, it's one of the really, really big ones in Dallas at Fair Park. And just tons of people are going through that place. And when I drove up to kind of sign in and show my code, the lady told me, we don't have Moderna or Pfizer. Today we have Johnson & Johnson. We don't know when we're gonna get the other two back, get, back in. So if you want this one, you can get this one. If you don't wanna get this one, you don't have to get it. And I was a little like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Cause like they just, <laughs> they don't tell you, which I can kind of understand why. Um, I think they've been having some issues getting the vaccines in good numbers in Dallas. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know the whole story behind that, but it is a one and done dose kind of vaccine and I was happy to get that. And I didn't have any side effects really. I didn't get a fever. I didn't feel crummy. I mean, I didn't feel crummier than I usually do in pregnancy. Like that day that I got it, I did take a nap in the afternoon, but I've taken naps on and off in the afternoon throughout pregnancy. And I felt a little stuffy the next day, but I've been stuffy and congested through this whole pregnancy anyway. So it really was nothing like out of the ordinary for me basically. I'm definitely not telling anyone that they should get the vaccine. If you're pregnant and you're kind of going back and forth with it, I totally understand how you feel. Like everything is super scrutinized in pregnancy and everything is very, very like, oh, you better not do that. You better not do that. Like if you want to like drink a cup of coffee some people will judge you so then you think oh i'm getting this vaccine like i should be hesitant you know because it's something going into your body when you're pregnant everything is scary it's just everything is scary you overthink everything and that's definitely where i was and definitely make your own decision wait if you want to wait but ultimately 
when you're pregnant, you are in a high risk category. And at least where I live, you qualify for the vaccine. Yeah. And that was good enough for me to go ahead and get it. So for us, it came down to kind of two facts. Number one, if Leanne got COVID, she's at higher risk for having a serious complication, having an issue with the baby. That's, that's known. Uh, that's a fact. And there aren't, at this point, any indications that anything bad happens to pregnant women when they get any of the vaccines. Um, and now we have you know, even several months of data from other countries that have been doing more vaccinations, like Israel. They haven't had any real issues at all um, besides positive uh, improvements in their infection rates. And you know, with everything that we've gone through to get here, um, I think that the, the benefit definitely outweighed any sort of theoretical risk, because that's all it is. It's just a theory that maybe we don't know what's going to happen. But I think that if you're pregnant and considering it, you should get it because you're at high risk for having serious complications if you don't. Okay, disclaimer. <laughs> As the YouTuber in the situation, <laughs> I know I need to say Grant is not your doctor. He cannot give you medical advice, but that is definitely... Grant's perspective, it's been his perspective right. so for us. Like this is a decision we very much made together yeah. and I respect his viewpoint, obviously. But at the same time, like if you've been pregnant or if you are pregnant, you know how it feels. It's just like you're wary of everything. You're Googling everything that goes into your mouth, onto your body, you know, every situation. Yeah. Are we cool here? Like every single thing is like dangerous until proven innocent and I get that, especially going through IVF and all the uncertainty with sure. that and basically going through hell to get here. I do wear my mask and I do distance and all of those things and I'm gonna continue to do that. Um, I'm not gonna throw out my mask just because I got the vaccine. You know, I, I just wanna be as safe as possible. It's and just- This is just a part of that. Yeah. You know, this is, I mean, I tell everybody, even if they don't ask me about it, that they should, you know, you registered, when are you gonna get it? You know, have you gotten it? Because it's, you know, you just don't know. Um, I saw a patient who came in after I'd seen him. He's in his 40s and had COVID and now he's in a wheelchair, he's on oxygen. Um, you know, and this he got sick like, you know, six to eight weeks ago. And so who knows if he's ever gonna be back to normal. And so, oh my gosh. Um, you know, I think there's people say, well, only a few people die. Well, that's true, but you know, we don't know, really know how many people are gonna have long-term health effects, even from um, infections that were, you know, minimal to moderately severe. So, you know, if Leanne got sick, was very sick in the, you know, ICU and stuff, there's no guarantee that she would ever be back to who she was before. There's a lot of stuff and a lot of situations you don't, that aren't really publicized on the news or um, that you don't necessarily think about unless you're seeing people that are affected by it. Um, this is a bad illness and it's not really known what's going to happen to people who had it long term. Um, that was a big part of why I was very supportive of Leanne mm -hmm. getting it. Yeah, it's just a, it's a scary situation. He was very supportive of me getting yeah. it. But I mean, I don't want to make it seem like he like forced me to get it when I was feeling nervous and everything. Like ultimately yeah. when the conversation came down to it, it was like, I support you. I respect your decision if you decide not to do it. Right. But I will literally sign you up in other counties so that you can get this if yeah, you want to get this. Yeah. And that's yeah, what was... he did. Because right. I got very lucky to get it somewhere that isn't really far away because we thought I was gonna have to drive like an hour or two hours away to get the vaccine. And also I wanna go off of what he was just saying with like there are lasting effects. There's a lot that we don't know about long-term COVID and everything that is very serious beyond just like the simple statistics of like, oh, it only kills this many people. So it's not that big a deal. And that's something that I saw so many people bring up in the comments on the last vlog when I was mentioning the mask mandate, which like the comments were just not great. And hopefully we're not repeating that this week, but it is what it is. I've got to say what I've got to say. And I also want to be there for you guys if you're pregnant and you're going through the same decision process that I am. Um, because I definitely, you know, struggled with it. And I knew that I didn't want to get it in the first trimester. That was what I did know for sure. Um, so I did wait until the second trimester, but I've had it for a week. I haven't had any bad side effects 
and I'm happy. I'm really happy. I feel very secure with my decision. I will tell you the morning of the vaccine, like I was like driving my little new car, going through this huge maze to finally get to the place where I needed to be to get the shot. I started crying. I don't know why. It's just, I think it's more so about like COVID in general. Yeah. Like it just, not that I, oh, I'm so scared of COVID, which like, yeah, I am. Like, I don't, I don't want to get sick and I don't want to get anyone else sick. I'm scared of it in that way. But it's just, it's just so sad what has like happened to the world, what has happened to so many people. It just makes me so sad in general. And like the feelings I was feeling that morning were kind of the same as way back when it first started coming up, like that first weekend and we went to Costco cause we were gonna yeah. go get some food so we could stay home. And I first started to see people wearing masks in Costco. And some people were wearing like crazy masks. Some people were just wearing, you know, the regular surgical masks. We didn't have masks. Like no, it was no. before masks were like a thing. Yeah. And I like started welling up with tears just walking through Costco. Cause I was just like, oh my gosh, what's happening? Like, what is this? And it just was, I guess it's like fear of the unknown, I guess. And also I'm pregnant, so everything's more emotional. And I was just like, oh, I'm getting this vaccine for this horrible thing. And I don't know, then I got it and all was good. And you just, I didn't vlog anything or take any pictures because honestly, at that point, I wasn't really sure when or if, I knew that eventually I would talk about getting the vaccine because I do wanna share my experience and be open and be not an example, but like, someone that you know that made a certain choice. You know, like, oh, I know this one girl on the internet, you know, <laughs> friend on the internet that is in her second trimester and decided to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. And you know, you can kind of, I don't know, take what you want from that, basically. I knew that I was gonna get the vaccine last weekend when I was vlogging and I was really torn about it. I wasn't really sure if I should talk about it then before I got the vaccine. I was a little nervous that people would leave me mean comments and it would make me feel scared. And I just ultimately, I did it. I have no regrets. I'm excited for the future. I'm excited that so many people are getting vaccinated, especially in yeah. Texas. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I mean, perfect time now. I mean, I yeah. was kind of just driving around and it's, open season out there now i mean it's just people are really you know everybody everybody wants to get back to normal but you can really tell everything's open and people there's sort of been an initial, an initial rush this week it seems like when we're out driving around people are really like yeah we're out here doing yeah it. because i mean it's just it's just been a long time and it's something i totally understand yeah. i totally understand and i and I have to, I feel like I have to say this again. I said it last week in the vlog, but I want to say it again. Like I 100% support things opening up and people getting out there and working and small businesses staying open. It breaks my heart to see things closed down, anything closed down because of this. Anyway, I know that was like a long rambly thing, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and my feelings. And obviously that I got the vaccine. Please try to be kind in the comments. I would really appreciate it for me and my sanity. And I just be supportive, I guess, you know, through all the comments and stuff last weekend, let's just, let's just not do that again. <laughs> I don't know if anyone yeah. that is about to leave a mean comment would really respect that, that request, but uh, you know, I'm, maybe. I'm not sorry if you think vaccines are, are bad or evil or something like that, cause you're wrong. Um, that's an opinion that really doesn't have any place in our society anymore and these are things that have been developed at an incredible speed and the development of the COVID vaccines probably I mean this is kind of a separate deal but the development of the COVID vaccines in the time that it took will probably go down as one of like the greatest accomplishments in public health and health care it's sad that there's so many people out there trying to profit off fear-mongering and hate and uh, ignorance um, because these are things that will can make our world go back to normal and save lives and 
are if you're looking for something that's a miracle these are things are like as close to the definition of a miracle as you can get mm -hmm. the fact that we have these you know it's a, it's a year we're right at a year from when the shutdown began and they're giving three to four million doses of these vaccines a day and that's just it's insane mm -hmm. um, and the people that develop these things you know you know people will put out these videos that this is some sort of evil conspiracy or something like that and that's just also insane i don't know i mean i understand that you know, this has all been a scary situation but you know this is the end this is the way out yeah i mean there's still certain precautions and sure, certain yeah. like rules Absolutely. for after you've gotten the vaccine um but just like you said, it is the way out. Like for all of us, it is the way back to normal. That's that's another thing that I see people talk about on social media. So like, we just need to get back to normal. And I agree, but I just want us to do it safely. And I just want everyone to do it like without lasting health consequences, you know? Yeah, I mean, you want to get back to normal, but for over a million people, you know, half a million dead and who knows how many hundreds of thousands of people whose lives will never be normal. That's not an option for them. Mm -hmm. And if they had the choice today, I'm sure that they would never have, not have any sort of hesitation to go forward and take a vaccine. Yeah, so, but they didn't get the chance. Right. I do have to say, you know, these are our opinions. This is our experience. You know, Grant does have a unique experience, a unique perspective that a lot of us don't get to have. So I think it is valuable to have him here and share his perspective and it's not telling you what you need to do shaming you in any way like please don't take it like that i love you guys i want you to be happy and healthy and good and all that that's the only thing i want and i don't want to fight with you i literally do not want to spend one second fighting with anyone on the internet okay i know that was a lot i had to get that out there i hope you guys can be respectful in the comments but right now we need to go we are going to bye bye baby for more stroller investigations. <laughs> Check it out. We are back to baby stuff. Car stuff is over. Car stuff is canceled. You want more car stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Test drives. Grant's about to run into the expectant mother sign. You love the new car? Yeah. Okay, so this is one of the strollers that we found online but hadn't gotten to see in person. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> we hadn't gotten to see it in person and we wanted to check it out. I don't think this one is actually like a travel system, but that might actually... <laughs> I think Grant might have lost control. Let's walk in the runway. Oh, whoa. Looking good. Whoa. That could take a kid out. All right, we're back home and we're gonna continue watching the show that we started last night, Murder Among the Mormons. I think it's only a three episode thing and we almost got through the second episode last night. Lola's into it. Come watch with me. Don't ask me for the keys. I did not make it long at all in that show. It's very interesting, but just a wave of tiredness hit me like a ton of bricks. And I have got to take off my makeup while I have like one shred of energy left. It's what I've been making myself do no matter what. The second I start feeling tired, I cannot wait to take my makeup off or it's gonna be like a battle for my life. <laughs> so I'm just about to do that ready to end the vlog i appreciate you guys being here sorry it was only a one day vlog i was just i don't know i was just like not in vlogging mode yesterday at all and we didn't really do anything interesting anyway so that's just what it is this weekend i'm sure i'll be back at it next weekend i'm happy you guys are here i really really appreciate you guys being here and oh in case you didn't catch it i put up a first trimester recap video last thursday and it covers all of the symptoms week by week by week like everything i experienced shocking surprising normal gross weird symptoms all along the way through the first trimester and then also i answered questions that you guys sent me on instagram i also share products that i I've been loving and then I also show the bump the bumps 
not really showing in this skirt at all but like I said, this skirt is comfort over everything and I think it's pretty cute. Okay, anyway, thanks. I love you, bye.